Remember, when we consider an infinite sequence, we're typically interested in the long-term behavior of the sequence, as in what are the terms of the sequence a n do as n approaches infinity. One possibility is that the sequence gets closer and closer to some limiting value. We defined the limit of a sequence in a previous lesson. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you are interested. Those sequences are called convergent. They might look something like this. They converge to a limiting value. They get closer and closer to their limit. But of course, not all sequences behave that way. In today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll talk about what it means for a sequence to diverge to infinity. Sequences that diverge to infinity will look something like this, or like this, or like this. These sequences look like they're on their way to positive infinity or negative infinity. So what can we say about these sequences? How can we capture their behavior in a definition? We'll introduce the formal definition of diverging to infinity shortly, but let's quickly see a simple example. This will help us see exactly how the definition works, so then when we read it, I think it'll make perfect sense. So consider this sequence a n equals n over 2. It seems pretty clear that the values of this sequence are just going to get bigger and bigger as n approaches infinity. And here is what the key detail is. You could give me any big number m that's greater than zero. Give me a number as big as you want. And no matter how big the value m is, I can guarantee that eventually all the values in this sequence after a certain point will be greater than that big number m. That's the basic idea of what it means for a sequence to diverge to positive infinity. So for example, you could provide me an m value of 100. And I want to demonstrate that eventually the terms of this sequence n over 2 remain greater than 100. Then if I solve this inequality for n, I'll find a restriction for n that will help me satisfy this condition that I want. So to see what I mean, if we just multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we have that n is greater than 200. Thus, if n is greater than 200, then the terms of our sequence a n, which are equal to n over 2, will be greater than 200 over 2, since n is greater than 200, and 200 over 2 is equal to 100. Thus, the values of the sequence will be greater than 100, whenever n is greater than 200. So the point is, you provide me a big number, and I was able to say after the 200th term in the sequence, all the following terms are greater than 100. And if I can do this with any arbitrarily large m value, that proves that this sequence diverges to positive infinity. So let's take a look at the definition. A sequence a n diverges to positive infinity if and only if, for any m greater than zero, there exists some natural number big N, such that if little n is greater than big N, then a n, the little nth term of the sequence, is greater than that number m. And this should seem pretty sensible after the example we just saw. Our sequence was n over 2, a particular m value just for an example was 100, and the corresponding big n value was 200. And we found that as long as n was greater than 200, the nth term of the sequence would be greater than m. We could also easily adapt this definition to describe what it means to diverge to negative infinity. We would change the plus to a minus in front of infinity. We would change m greater than zero to m less than zero. And we would change a n greater than m to a n less than m. So this definition works the same way. A sequence a n diverges to negative infinity if and only if, for any very negative number m, there exists a natural number big N, such that every term of the sequence after the big nth term is less than that negative number M. Notice an important part of both of these definitions is that it says for any M less than zero or greater than zero, depending on if we're talking about negative or positive infinity. In our previous example, we just looked at a specific M value of 100. 
So to finish the lesson off, let's prove that our sequence n over 2 diverges to infinity by showing we can satisfy this inequality for a generic m value. And so that we can try out this definition of diverging to negative infinity, let's slightly change our sequence so that it is the sequence negative n over 2. So we think this sequence should diverge to negative infinity. Let's go ahead and prove it. Similar to when we want to prove that a sequence has a certain limit, we need to start off with a little bit of scratch work. We want the terms of our sequence at a certain point to satisfy the inequality negative n over 2 is less than any given negative number m. And then, just as we did before, we want to solve for n. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2. That will give us n is greater than negative 2m then we can use this condition for our proof. Then we'll begin with let m be less than zero. So m is just an arbitrary fixed negative number. Then what are we going to say for our big n value? Well, we want a little n to be greater than negative 2m. So since we're going to take n greater than big N, we definitely want big N to be greater than negative 2m. So since big N is a natural number, we'll just say take N as an element from the natural numbers such that big N is greater than negative 2M. Thus, when we let little n be greater than big N, it will also be the case that little n is greater than negative 2M. So then we'll just say let little n be greater than big N. Then we just have to show that our inequalities work the way we want them to. In other words, we want to show that the terms of our sequence after the nth term are all less than m. So we have that our sequence a n is equal to negative n over 2. Note that since m is a negative number, negative 2m is a positive number. So if we replace this n in the numerator, which is positive, n is positive, if we replace that with a smaller positive number, like negative 2m, then certainly the resulting expression will be greater than negative n over 2. So we're talking about this expression, replacing n with negative 2m, so that we have negative, negative 2m over 2. And I just noticed this m doesn't look at all like that m. They're supposed to be the same, so let me rewrite that. So make sure you understand this inequality. If we have a negative fraction and we replace its numerator with a number that has a smaller magnitude, then the resulting expression will be bigger. For example, imagine the fraction negative 3 fifths. This is less than the fraction negative 1 fifth. So that's all we've done. We've replaced the numerator with a numerator that has a smaller magnitude. And then the rest is very easy. We have two negatives here being multiplied, so they cancel out, and these twos will also cancel out. So this expression is equal to m. Thus, we've shown for any arbitrary negative m value, as long as big N is greater than negative 2m, then every term of our sequence after the big nth term, every term of our sequence after that is less than m. Thus, this sequence diverges to negative infinity. And although this is an abuse of notation, we'll often write that the limit of our sequence in this case, as n approaches infinity, the limit of our sequence is equal to negative infinity. This is, of course, a little weird to write since negative infinity is not a number, but it just means that this is true about our sequence. And I want you to take a minute and think about why a sequence that behaves like this does not diverge to positive or negative infinity. It kind of looks like it does, but it does not satisfy this definition. Make sure you understand why, and I think you can be confident that you've got a good grasp on the definition. So I hope this video helped you understand what it means for a sequence to diverge to positive or negative infinity. Remember that not all divergent sequences diverge to positive or negative infinity. Some sequences behave like this, for example. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Everyone else just thinks you wanna die